What's going on, everybody? This is Barbara from Inspirationally Design, um, and I'm here today to do a real quick video on how to make your own version of Linktree. So for my business owners that may not know, uh, what happened was Linktree is no longer being recognized with Instagram. So for those of you that may have been using the Linktree link so that you could um, group all of your links under one main link, so to speak, um, that was created by Linktree, Instagram is not accepting that. So um, if you haven't already taken the Linktree link off, you may want to do that. And what I did was um, I figured out how to create links similar to Linktree that you can do and it would take everyone always back to your um, Word, your WordPress site. So I'm going to go through it very quickly and um, I'm going to let you know in advance I'm a mom of five and two out of my five are downstairs watching Moana so you may hear that in the background um, so I'm just giving you a heads up now. Um, every now and then I may have to stop depending on how fast I can do the video. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. These are the ones that I created so far. I created a little header and then I did my shop and um, printables. So if I go over to um, my website, and let me see if I can back it up a bit. Okay, so just ignore this part. I'm just kind of backing it up to show you how I did it. So when you go to my page, hold on, let's go this way. All right, so this is the page that I created. If I go to um, preview changes, because I just recently added the printables button, this will take you to um, the actual page that I created on my website. So this is my website, Inspirationally Designed. And up at the top, you can't see it because I have my um, WordPress menu up here. It has the my home page link. It has a link to my shop. And now it has this link that I called um, my favorite links. So this is all on my WordPress site. Now when I click on my shop, it'll automatically take you to my shop which is hosted on my site um, via WordPress and I use WooCommerce to um, get that created and then if you go back the other link I have is to my printables because I make printables and I specialize in making printables journals and graphics so when you click on the printables link it'll take you to my printables category right now I only have that one but I have some more I have to add to it so I'm going to show you guys how I did this so the first thing I'm going to do is take you to Canva. Um, I have Canva for work, but I think you could probably do this in the free version as well. So I'm going to show you how I did my um, header first. So what I did was I went ahead and I did um, create a design and I selected, I scrolled down and I went to, let me see, I went to blog banner, <clears throat> excuse me. And from blog banner, I went ahead and I just designed a real quick um, title page. Like I said, mine's just say my favorite links. So I'll do a real quick one. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say my links. I'm sorry, mine said my favorite links. I just realized what I said, my fault. So I'm just gonna say my links. All right, so cool, I got that. Put it right in the center with Canva. They do give you the purple dotted lines to show you when it's directly in the center. I'll make it, let's make it 96. Let's see how big that is. That might be too, oh, there we go. I was about to say, I thought it might be too big. All right, so I have my links. So I'm gonna go ahead and do file and then save. And it's saved as my links. I will probably change that to something like, um, you know, my blog header or whatever, you know what, my links page, we'll change it to that. My links page, title, header. There we go. So I did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save again. All right, so that's up there. So then I'm gonna hit download. I'm gonna leave it as a PNG, but change this to transparent background. And what that does is it gets rid of this white part. So when you upload it, the only thing you're linking, your only thing you're uploading is the words, my links which works out, especially if your background is something other than white. So I'm gonna do um, transparent background. I'm gonna hit download. So that's gonna go ahead and download to my computer. Oh, that was quick, cool. So that's done. 
So I'm going to go back to um, my blog. I'm going to go to the dashboard. And I'm just going to create a brand new page. I'll delete it later, but I want to make sure that you guys um, see exactly what I did. So in the back office part of my um, WordPress blog, I'm going to go down to, see if I can remember it off the top of my head. I'm sorry. I'm going to go to pages. Now you can do it as a blog post as well. And it's pretty much the same thing, but I'm just going to do pages because the way I have my blog set up, all of my pages automatically, um, automatically default to the um, menu bar. So I'm going to do um, pages, add new. And as I do add new, it'll give me a brand new page and I'm going to title it my links. And then once I title it as my links, it creates this permalink which is what you're going to put in um, Instagram. That's what you're going to use. So I'm going to do add media, upload files, and I'm going to go ahead and um, drag the file up from, see if it'll let me. I'm going to upload the file directly from um, my screen or directly from um, where I downloaded it. All right, so you see it's right there. It's automatically checked. I'm going to do insert into page. Bam, and there it is, right? I'm going to click on align center, and that was right in the center of my page, right? I'm going to hit publish just so that it's automatically saved there, but I know I'm not done yet. So that's part one. We have the title on my links. So now I'm going to create a button similar to the button that you see from Linktree. So I'm going to hit enter. That it bring the cursor over here. I'm going to go back to Canva. And to make it real simple, and you can play around with the sizing and everything, but I'm just trying to get you guys up and running um, due to this uh, recent change that just happened without notice. So I'm just trying to get you guys, you know, taken care of so you can do this in a fairly, you know, short amount of time. I'm going to go down, and this time I'm going to select Let's use, um, don't want to use Etsy shop. Let's use Twitter header. So I'm going to click on Twitter header, which if you look at it, it, it looks about the size of a um, button that's similar to on Linktree. So let me see. You know what? I don't want to do that one. So I'm going to do, since I don't want to use the Twitter one, only because I don't want any of this to throw you off, I'm going to do file. And I'm going to do um, change dimensions. And this will give you all the dimensions that was back on the um, home page. And real quick, I'm going to change it to, let's make it the um, Etsy shop cover. That's pretty similar. Any of the banners that you do are similar to the buttons. So again, if you want to play around with the sizing and everything, you know, that's cool. I just want to get you guys up and running as fast as possible. So I have this right here, right? So now um, I'm going to select background and I'm just going to make it a real simple, let's make it purple. I'm just going to make it a real simple color. You can play around with the backgrounds, with your uploads, any of that that you want to do. Or if you just want to make it, you know, let's say for, um, make it a little bit more um, elegant and simple. Let's do elements, shapes, and let's click on, let's do this. All right, so that gives you a border. I clicked on um, the, the empty box and I'm just gonna drag it out to the edge and I'm just gonna use up the whole um, edge of the box. So we have it all the way out and then, um, see right there there we go i'm looking for that cross there you go all right come on cross there it is there we go so i know it's dead smack in the center then i'm going to click on text i'm just going to choose this one just because it's simple but actually you have a lot of text that you can choose from from down here so I'm just going to pick this one because it was the first one center it again and let's say um, let's say the first one is my shop right so you have my shop I'm going to go over to the size and I'm going to make it pretty large 
Let's see what 144 does. Is that too big? Okay, I got a little too excited. So I'm going to make it 104. Let's see, 104. So I need to get it in the center. There we go. And that looks slightly off, so I'm going to just raise it a little bit. All right. So I have it in the center, and I'm going to change this to um, black. So I'm going to click on the border, and I'm going to change it to black. All right. So I have my button. I'm going to say my shop. I'm just going to call this um, my link buttons. All right. And I'm going to hit done. And then I'm going to save that. So now you have your main button, right? So if this is cool and you like what's going on, all you have to do is hit the um, copy over here and it creates another button. And then you can call this one um, my blog. Make another one, um, maybe say um, free. If you have a freebie, you could say free. Um, let me see. So I'm in the process of creating a freebie for my um, journals. So for the journals that I make, I may say free journal prompts. All right. So I know that's super, super huge. So I'm going to change that, drag it out a little bit. So you can play with the formatting. Again, my whole purpose was just to get you guys up and running due to the recent changes. And I know many of you may have um, WordPress blogs or WordPress sites. So I'm just trying to get you guys up and running. So there you go. I got three different but buttons going on. So we'll resave that. All right. So what I'm going to do is since I made three different buttons, I'm going to show you how if you have more than just one um, image, you can go ahead and upload all of them. So I'm going to go and this is my first time doing this. I didn't test this out. So bear with me if I'm doing a lot of clicking and, you know, jumping around. So you have, you know, you have some buttons, right? So then you hit download. It says PNG. And if you notice right here, it says that PNGs with multiple pages will download as a zip file. So that means that I have to unzip it before I um, upload it to WordPress. So I'm just going to stick to all pages. I'm not going to do transparent background. Um, remember, again, you can if you want to, but we're just going to do it like that. All right. So bam, it's saved. Um, to my computer so now I'm going to go back to my site and we already have my link so now I'm going to upload the buttons so to do that I'm going to do add media right so then I'm going to upload files so of course I have to unzip it first so if I go ahead and unzip it let's see and I'm going to move the screen a little bit so bear with me I'm clicking on the link to unzip it. So there it is. It's already been unzipped, right? And it's in my downloads. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to close that. All right. So now I should be able to go ahead and um, make some things happen. So first thing I'm going to do is select file. So I have select file, right? So now I'm going to back it up a little bit. Downloads scroll down and it should be in a blue folder there we go my link buttons three items there's one two and three right so what i'm going to do is go ahead and click on the first one uh -oh. oh sorry open that's one i'm going to go ahead and go to the second one and then i'm going to go ahead and go to the third one All right, so I have all three, right? So now what I'm going to do is select the first one, which is my shop. Go ahead and do insert the page. Oh, cool. Wait a minute. I think something happened. Hold on. Let's see. So I uploaded all three. So let me see. So if I hit enter, bam, there we go. So what happened was it uploaded all three, right? Cool, which is fine. I have to fix the formatting on that one. I'm not too, I'm not feeling that one. Let's see. So... Let's see, if I do enter to give that space. So all I did was hit enter in between in order to get that space. So let's see, I think I'm gonna try that again. So let's see, let's see. So yeah, that one didn't um, come out right. 
So I'm not going to insert that one because I don't like the way it formatted. So we'll just leave that one at, we'll just leave that one out of it. All right. And again, like I said, this is straight off the cuff with um, doing, the, doing the buttons like this. I had a different way I was going to do it, but I wanted to do it in case you were trying to knock out, you know, three or four buttons at one time. So I got the buttons right here, right? So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to move it to the center. So align center. So it's right underneath my links. Then I'm going to click on the little chain right here where it says insert edit link. And let's, I'm going to do it to um, my store. So let's see if I can get it right. Inspirationally design.com backslash. I think it's my hyphen shop. So we're going to say, okay, cool. That's that one. This one, the same thing. We're going to move it to the middle. Um, insert link and then inspirationally design.com because my blog is my homepage. All right. So we have that there, right? So this is similar to um, Linktree. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here where it says publish and I'm going to hit update and give that a few seconds to um, upload. And then once that happens, again, what you want to input into Instagram is the permalink right here that says yourwebsite.com forward slash whatever title you made this. So I made it my links. So this is what I would put into the Instagram website field um, on my profile page. So now I'm going to go to preview changes. So when I go to preview pages, it created a new page and it should show um, my link page. And then there you go. So here are my links. So now here comes the moment of truth. Let's see what happens when I click on the button. So I click on my shop and it should take me, there you go. It took me to my shop. Um, so now let's go back and let's try on um, my blog. So when I click on my blog, it should take me to the home page of my site, which is my blog articles. And there you go. It absolutely did that. So again, guys, I just wanted to give you a real quick um, tutorial on how to create links to replace um, Linktree. If you have any questions, feel free to email me um, following the links underneath this website. Um, if it's helpful, please share, share, share. I want to help as many people as possible. Hold on, guys. Give me one second. Okay, give me one second. I know, ladies. Give me one second. Give me one second. Um, sorry about that, but I gave you guys the disclaimer that my children are home. I have five and the two younger ones. Um, I guess they're basically telling me that I should be done, which is cool because this took less than 20 minutes, which is what I was going for. So as I was saying, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, um, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, please share to as many people, many business owners as you can that need this information. Um, and I thank you guys for taking the time out to check out my video. Hopefully I have some more tutorials coming out. Um, but other than that, guys, have a good day.